Thank you both and everybody. Uh, I know hopefully you'll be able to speak at the end too, Laurel. Okay. So I would like up next is Foss Maritime is Kelly Merrill. Kelly, take it away. Hey, thanks for having me today. I'm gonna share my screen here. All right, can you see my screen okay? Oh, I think I yes. Okay, great. All right. So, um, you know, thanks for joining me. I'm really excited to be here because we're excited to partner with um, local community and youth to, to introduce um, more opportunities about the maritime industry. And at FOSS, we certainly have a lot of opportunities. So I'm excited to share those with you today. And I'm also going to share a little bit about our leadership team and all of the lines of business that we have. Um, so at FOSS, our mission is to be um, the to provide maritime services and focus on our customers' needs, uh, continuous improvement, and expanding our operations and developing our workforce. Um, pictured here is our executive leadership team: Paul Robert, uh, Will Roberts, Paul Gallagher, and Jeff Freehorst. And um, here's our operations and uh, commercial business team, and they lead our business activities. Um, every day at, along with the teams that they support. Safety is a huge priority at FOSS. Um, you'll hear and see our tagline, always safe, always ready. And Paul Hendricks, uh, pictured here, leads the Marine Assurance Group to ensure that we are always following the highest standards of compliance and continuous improvement in our safety culture so we are incident-free workplace. FOSS is part of um, the Saltchuck family. Saltchuck um, has multiple companies providing logistics and um, transportation solutions, including Northern Aviation Services, Saltchuck Marine, um, which is part of our, the parent company of FOSS, North Star Energy, Tote, Tropical, and Saltchuck Logistics. And so together, um, all of those companies can provide a multitude of logistics solutions in Alaska, the US West Coast, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and anywhere any special projects um, can be performed throughout the world. And Celtic Marine is a parent company to FOSS. And so within that portfolio um, is FOSS as the premier provider of harbor towing and um, we partner with our sister companies, AmNav, Cook Inlet, Tug and Barge, Young Brothers, and our newest family member, Starlight Marine. We have a rich history at FOSS, and so here's a little snapshot of our timeline. We were founded in 1989 in Tacoma by Thea FOSS and have continued to grow along the West Coast um, for harbor services. Oh, and solutions I around the world. That old. Oh, so cool. We're a corporate headquarters here in Seattle. Um, we have an office right along Alaskan Way, um, but we provide services um, again all along the West Coast. Um, so in Alaska, here in the Puget Sound, in pretty much in all of the harbors, the Columbia River region, San Francisco Bay, El Segundo, and Long Beach, and Honolulu. We have a project services team that um, specializes in comprehensive and very complex projects around the world. Um, and here in the Puget Sound region, we've been operating for 130 years and provide a multitude of services um, with our talented operations leaders. And in the Columbia Snake River region, we've been operating for over 100 years. And in addition to these services, um, Portland is also home to our fleet monitoring center to provide di dispatch services and uh, monitoring for many maritime companies. Um, 
in Northern California. Voss also works closely with our sister companies, Amnav and Starlight. And um, that represents over 75% of the available tug market in that region. And also in Southern California, it's one of the busiest container ports in North America. And again, we partner with Amnav and Starlight to meet the challenging um, environmental requirements that the state of California has and uh, make sure we can provide a reliable service to our customers there. And in Alaska, we partner with uh, Cook and Let's Tug and Barge um, to provide um, solutions in Cook Inlet and Prudhoe Bay and throughout Alaska. And our project services division operates in um, several complex projects up in Alaska, especially throughout the summer season. And in Hawaii, uh, FOSS is a premier marine service company in Honolulu. We work with our sister company, Young Brothers, to provide those ship assist services uh, to the outer island and any regional project towing throughout the Pacific region. Our fleet is made up of 65 tugs, or our harbor fleet is 65 tugs, I should say. And then our offshore fleet consists of 11 tugs. We also have 12 barges that are in use or ready for action, um, ranging anywhere from 185 feet to 400 feet. We have a commitment to renewable energy, and you've probably seen in uh, social media lately, we're partnering uh, with um, Vineyard Wind on some offshore wind farm projects in the Atlantic. We're also ready to respond to emergencies. Um, this is a situation that happened locally in Tacoma a few months ago, and uh, we have crews ready for action to demonstrate our commitment to our brothers and sisters in the marine industry. And again, this is um, another example of our history of delivering to our customers. We also operate here at the Foss Shipyard in Seattle. Um, it's a very um, equipped shipyard on the West Coast with dry docks and full service vessel repair and maintenance, and um, have participated in new construction projects there. And they're located on Ewing Street um, on the Ballard Ship Canal. I mentioned previously our fleet monitoring center. It's based out of Portland, and they provide 24-hour dispatch of our fleet um, and customer support. Slides open. There we go. Oh, skip. Um, FOSS has a big focus on community, a long standing commitment of giving back. Um, so we're happy to participate in programs like this and contribute to other um, nonprofits around the community that um, are important to um, conservation and sustainability and giving back to our community. So we have a number of careers at FOSS, a lot of different pathways um, for people interested in getting into the maritime community. Um, of course, we have marine positions. Um, all of our positions that are onboard vessels, um, anywhere from captain and mate in the wheelhouse, um, to ordinary seamen, deckhands and engineers, and able seamen working on the decks, and of course, our uh, very skilled chief engineers working in our engine room. Our short side positions often consist of positions related to safety and compliance, project management, and project controls. Um, of course, operations managers and assistants are important, and uh, we often have needs for mechanics, port captains, and port engineers. At our shipyard, we are always looking for um, qualified craft persons. Um, so we're usually always looking for welders and ship fitters, painters, marine electricians and machinists, 
and ship scalers and laborers. Um, sometimes we even, I believe we have some even openings for uh, craft foremen right now. And um, we recently just filled a superintendent position at our shipyard. Every summer we um, operate up in Alaska. And so we're always looking to fill seasonal barge positions. We need barge laborers, loaders and operators, riggers, rover mechanics, load supervisors, millwrights, and barge supervisors. So why would you consider working at FOSS? Um, you know, we think our culture, competitive benefits, our exciting projects, career development are just a few of the great reasons. We also have a code of ethical business conduct that is consistently um, encouraging us to do the right thing. And it's our commitment to conduct our business that complies with laws and highest ethical standards. We have competitive uh, benefits and compensation. So this is, um, we recognize that our employees are um, the heart of our company and we wanna treat our people with respect and integrity and we value their contributions and well-being. And while um, the benefits may vary slightly from location to location or based upon the position, these are some of the basic benefits and compensation um, packages that we have uh, for a full-time US employee. At FOSS, we also recognize that our um, employees are the foundation of our company's success. There's vertical and lateral growth opportunities that exist within FOSS and within our sister salt check transportation companies. And we strive to promote from within whenever it's practical to fill open positions. And certainly as vacancies arise, we consider both internal and external candidates. Uh, we have a wide array of training programs and classes and um, encourage um, training for employees to move up and for succession planning. Two minute warning here. Um, we have a rich history of uh, family within the company and we always look out for each other and care about one another. And we've grown together over time. Um, and the boss family is truly the backbone of the company. You can visit our website to um, get to know the hardworking and talented people of FOSS and learn more about our opportunities. And certainly follow us on social media. You can sign up for alerts on our career site and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn to stay current on our job openings or the exciting projects that we're working on. And that concludes my presentation. So if you have any questions, Kelly, thank you so much. That was oh, I'm sorry. Awesome. Go ahead, Jojo. Go ahead. Um, do you have a, who should they contact and how do they apply? It's best to go to our website, um, www.foss.com. And there's a careers page. You can sign up for career alerts there. Um, you can type in the different type, types of jobs you're interested in. And every time a job is posted with your interest flagged, you will get an email alert that the job is live and you can apply. Um, you know, we also post the job is on our social media. So follow us on social media and that's a great place to see what's going on in our world. And you do you have any prerequisites that you need to have before you can apply? Most positions do require um, a high school diploma or GED and 18 years of age. Um, some positions might require some certifications like a TWIC card. Um, and certainly some of our positions might require a passport because we are traveling internationally or through Canadian waters frequently. Um, yeah, it just depends on the position, but we do have shoreside opportunities as well, local based here in Seattle that might not require as many certifications. Fantastic. Does anybody else have questions for Kelly? I was, you mentioned training, uh, Kelly, um, the training, the training is for employees who, who are already there, right? Most, most people who want to get employed at Fossil have to have, have had some training in maritime skills to begin with, right? 
Yes. Um, I don't know the exact prerequisites for all of our marine positions, um, but um, a lot of the um, licensing for even sailing, you need some sea time and um, getting some experience before we can put you on board. So, um, but we're always willing to work with, especially with our entry level engineers. If you're starting out as a, an able seaman or a, a QMED and you want to work your way up to chief engineer, we'll work with you and um, help provide expense reimbursement for attending trainings and completing those certifications. Yeah, and guests and participants, um, that's what career navigators are for. So if, you, if FOSS sounds like the right thing for you, we can help get you on the right path to that. But definitely check out our website because we have, I think over 20 positions posted right now. Could you explain one of the entry level positions? So something that you could potentially be um, successful to apply for with a high school diploma? Um, sure. Okay. Um, most of them would probably be at our shipyard. Um, we're usually always looking for entry level um, like helpers around the shipyard. So you may not have a journeyman or um, finishing your apprenticeship yet or even started your apprenticeship, but um, you might be able to be hired in as a painter helper or a pipe fitter helper. And there you're gonna start learning some skills. And, um, you know, once you start your apprenticeship, you can, um, you know, continue building and you'll already have some familiarity coming in. Um, we've had several, um, you know, senior journeymen who started their way, way in as helpers. And, um, you know, they were, they were probably helping a family member around the yard, um, you know, if, their father or uh, uncle or older brother were working there. Um, you know, they started getting a job as a helper and learning alongside them. Um, also, ordinary seamen. Um, I should know this off the top of my head, but I don't. I'm sorry. But um, you know, it's pretty entry level, and um, not many of our boats um, can we sail ordinary seamen. So there's few positions that open up, um, but it certainly is a possibility. Um, some of our boats require higher um, licensing and have a ABLE seaman and FTCW certificate. So um, it, it just depends, but that's definitely an opportunity. So Kelly, when you're talking about apprenticeships, are you talking about like the pipe trades apprenticeship um, or, you know, the pipe fitters, plumbers and pipe fitters, um, the machinist apprenticeship, welding and all of that? Would they be able to get uh, hired on with you and then get into the apprenticeship or is it vice versa they get into the apprenticeship and then get hired on with you it depends we've we've gone both ways so um oftentimes we need to fill those entry-level positions where the unions aren't um actively recruiting for that level position you know they're trying to train up apprentices to be journeymen and so um you know we have a need for helpers and so we can hire um externally and then um, that employee would join the union and then they can open the door to that relationship um, and start getting their training. Um, and we also have done, you know, partnered with the union where they present us some apprentices and um, yeah, so whether it's the, um, the pipe fitters or um, the machinists and um, or the boiler makers, you know, um, we partner with all of the, the metal trades council and uh, fill the positions of the shipyard. 